Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Michelle, and I spent a bit of money on Black Friday, as I'm sure a lot of you did who are watching this. So like, did you wanna see what I got? Cause I'm totally gonna show you it. And if you don't wanna see it, then maybe you should click on the video. Before I get into the video, I do wanna say that I am once again, uh, the loving owner of some Ana Luisa jewelry. So I am here helping promote their holiday campaign, which by the way, means that you get buy one 40% off. Guys, you know how much I love Ana Luisa. I've been talking about them for many videos now and I'm here to do it again. So I wanna show you the pieces that I got this time from Black Friday, both of the, oh my God, do you ever realize how like stubby your fingers look when you're like showing them in a video? But guys, both of the pieces that I'm wearing right now are made of the same stone. It is moonstone, which by the way, I Googled and means new beginnings, which is very fitting for me seeing as I just moved countries. So here is the ring. Let's see if it focuses, oh, it focuses so beautifully. It's got this moonstone and this little simple delicate design. I'm a size six in rings just to give you guys an idea. And then it's this little, heart detail of the uh, necklace. Um, the necklace is adjustable. I wore it on the tightest setting. Something I didn't know about Ana Luisa is that they have carbon offsets, so their company is so sustainable. They do everything that they possibly can to produce high quality jewelry while keeping it in a more eco-friendly sort of way and a sustainable sort of way. So I really love their pieces. Actually, something really awesome about Ana Luisa is that they guarantee that your pieces are gonna be such high quality. So they have, if you don't like your purchases, if you're not 100% happy with them, in 365 days, so a year, uh, they will either replace it or refund you. So guys, Ana Luisa, just again, always a great partnership, a company that I adore that has such a good sustainable mission to them and good high quality pieces that I, I'm ruined for other jewelry now that I love Ana Luisa so much. It's that I, I can't wear the cheap stuff that I get on Shein anymore. I can't, I just can't do it. I've got to wear my Ana Luisa. I wear these so often and they're, they're, you know, they're not tarnished or anything. I wear these to bed. They are, they're doing it for me. They're very high quality jewelry and I'm so obsessed with them and so in love with them. So let's get into what I bought. Drinking some tea while I film this because my room has the biggest space in between my window that the wind just whips right in. I'm just not used to living in buildings that are made in the 18th century, um, but I live in Edinburgh now, so. So the very first store that I bought from is Zara. I only got three pieces from them. Actually, one is what I'm wearing right now, so I will back up. I'm not used to this filming location, guys. I obviously just moved here and haven't done a fashion video here yet. So I'll try, try to figure out the best way to show you my pieces. Um, this one is a square neckline, very tight bodycon mini dress. It's so ribbed, so flattering. Guys, I'm on my period. I'm bloated right now. Can you tell? Probably, but not that much. <laughs> Cause it just like, it's so flattering, sucks everything in, and it gives you like a really cute silhouette. So I do really love this. Also, the brown phase has come in and I didn't know what I would think about it, but I'm, I think I'm feeling the brown. I think I'm like, it's something I can get behind um, and looks good with so many different skin tones depending on what kind of brown you wear. So yeah, I think, I think this piece is doing it for me. For everything else, I will show you it and then try it on right after. <laughs> the next thing I got, I had to buy because I've seen it everywhere and I, I, it was a trend that I really liked and I try to go against trends. I try not to like do everything everyone else is doing, but I got, and it's like the classic one because it's the Zara one. It was only 30 pounds, so I got the Zara black leather dress. I got it in a size medium. Usually I'm a size small in absolutely everything. I will tell you if I differ on my items that I get. So this one I got a medium just because I wanted it to be a bit baggy, but it is already pretty oversized to begin with. Like I could have got away with getting a small, so I'll try it on and show you. Here is the leather black dress in all of its glory. This is the size medium you guys could see, maybe, where it goes on me. Um, it is a beautiful warm piece. I got away with wearing this as like a jacket the other day instead of actually wearing a jacket. So it it definitely traps in every single thing of heat. I like it because you can button up the buttons to create different styles depending on like the look you're going for it. Um, I also wear it with like my big sunglasses and feel like I'm in the Matrix. So it's a sick dress, very pretty on the back. I luxury bought it simply because of the like ruching that it has that like already creates a really nice silhouette. I think the point of a good leather dress is to not look like a leather dress like it's supposed to look like a 
like a line very pretty dress it's not supposed to look bulky and gross at least not for me i mean to each their own but i do not like a good bulky dress and the next one is a super classic piece actually it's such a basic i just knew i needed it it's the square neckline Zara top. Um, it's pretty much similar to what I'm wearing now in the dress, except for the fact that it's the sort of crop top form. So I always needed a plain black top because it goes with everything. I'll probably wear this top for the entirety of the video because so many interesting and intricate pieces just go so well when you like style it with a muted piece so that you like, you almost don't even re see this. You're like looking at the classic piece. So that is why I got this one, and I'll show you how it fits on me. So as you can see, the top on this one is pretty much the exact same style as the dress I just showed you, except for the fact that it's black. Um, I'm really into the square neckline, and I find Zara does it really well. It's definitely one of those things that not a lot of places can do right, but I'm very happy with it. Also, pretty sure for Black Friday, it was a, like, nine, seven, seven pound top, so it was a very good Black Friday haul from Zara. So those were the three that I got from Zara. The next ones that I got from ASOS, um, which has been awesome having ASOS uh, in the UK because literally their deliveries are, like, next day. Like, I just, it's, it's dangerous. Um, I actually did something really silly. There was two things that I really, really wanted from ASOS, and it was the day, it was, like, they had the countdown to the Black Friday sale on their website. It was counting down the numbers. It was like, you know, wait four, five, 12 more hours. Um, <laughs> and then our sale will launch, but there was like two sizes left of this skirt I wanted. And I was like, I get, like, delivery is like two pounds. I'm just gonna suck it up and get this skirt before it like disappears into the abyss. So I'll show you the skirt. <laughs> so this way we can see the skirts a little bit better. This is the size 10 of the burgundy skirt. Um, I really like the way that it's like pleated in the back and then like sort of like a flat front. I found it's like really flattering and classic. Um, too scared to wash these ever. We'll make them as dirty as they could possibly get until the end of time because the pleats in them are so absolutely perfect. Um, and see, I told you this black top could really go with everything. <laughs> um, and I really love it. I love the exact length it falls. You can see with me putting my hands down, it's not like a too short of a skirt. It is one I can wear comfortably and have worn comfortably many times since I bought it. Probably will wear it after this video and throw it back on. Okay, and then I ended up getting some pair of, I've worn these quite a bit because they're very comfy. Um, they're like the Flair style uh, legging. I see them everywhere around town. I am in such a young, cool city with a bunch of cool college girls and I see them all wearing, you know, we, we don't like that our bottoms are like skinny at the bottom anymore. We want the flares. Um, and I was like, fine, I'll go and pick them up. I'm five foot two, so I, <laughs> it was great for a little bit, but the second it rained, these bottoms got soaking wet, so I have to be picky on when I wear them, but I, I pretty much wear them and every day. They're like my lounge pants because they're so comfy. They are the, uh, oh, they're ASOS brand. Okay, I'll show you the pants down here and then I will put my camera back up. These pants are also so flattering. I find they fit nicely at the waist too. They fall at a good area. Um, again, this black top really goes with everything. And then you can see it's got the flare on the bottom. It's not a huge flare. It's just enough to be there. And then it's just an inch too short. I really feel like these, because the material is just so easy to work with, I feel like I really could just like hemp them myself and be very happy with them. But really, there's just a classic pair of leggings with a bit of a flare on them. Um, I went pretty ham on my skirts this haul just because it's like the number one thing that I wear. So I'm pretty sure that this skirt and the maroon skirt are like the exact same skirt. Actually, this one feels a bit thicker, just a different color. Um, but this one is such a classic plaid version of the like pleated mini skirt that I've been, su I love the pleated mini skirt. If there was one item I could take with me into a parallel dimension, it would be the pleated mini skirt. If fashion was different in that dimension, what am I even saying? That I would take the pleated mini skirt and I would bring it and adapt it to their fashion. <laughs> uh, anyways, I'll, I'll show you this on. Okay, see what I mean about the exact same design as the burgundy one, just a different color, but it's just like a good thicker fabric just in the same exact pattern that they put down, I guess. Um, in love with it. Again, it's just such a flattering piece. I feel like it's something I can wear when I'm like super bloated and no one will notice, which is exactly what I want in a skirt. Um, and I think this design is classic and goes with a lot of things. Of course, I paired it with this black top um, just to show off this skirt even more. 
but yeah it's just it's such a good piece it's such a good piece I Ugh, very happy with my skirt purchases in this haul. Oh my god, the next one they had in so many different colors that I like sat there and tried to choose. Meanwhile, the like clock is ticking because ASOS only like keeps your cart full for like an hour before it sends everything to your like favorites list. But it is this tie wrap skirt, uh, like silk wrap skirt. It comes in this color. It comes in like an olivey green color and one other, but of course I went for pink. Because pink is just such a classic and like the this shade of pink and just the way that it moves even on camera I'm sure you can see just how beautiful it is that I knew I needed this classic piece It's actually one of the few things in my box that I haven't worn yet Just because it's so beautiful. I don't want to spill anything on it I don't want to wear it somewhere that it doesn't deserve to be worn. So uh, yeah, I just uh, There's something about this like fabric too that just feels so luxurious when you're wearing it and just like classes up any outfit no matter what you're wearing it with so and is it another that could go with this dress <gasps> maybe it is <laughs> all right this is the really pretty skirt surprisingly i actually think the one thing i would change about it is that it's i think it could be an inch shorter it's a beautiful skirt but and i mean it's great because then you walk around and bend over and not feel like anything's gonna fall out but I do feel like it could just be like an inch sort of, but it does then again give that more like modest classic feel with it, um, which is very much this like color and this satin color and the wrap around. I get it. Um, and I like, I mean, to be fair, I am also very in love with it. I also wouldn't change a thing and I'm just being picky, but it's glorious. It's awesome. Um, oh my God. Sure. It like moves with me when I walk. So it's a very watery ripple effect. Oh. Where am I going to wear this? Oh my god, look at that. Oh my god. Um, is this embarrassing? No, maybe it's not. This beautiful number. Oh, I love her, right? A giant, super cozy, super comfy plaid dress that I bought because in the Taylor Swift folklore live studio sessions that's on, <laughs> that's on Disney Plus right now, um, she was wearing one of these and just the whole one, I mean one folklore album is my absolute favorite thing in uh, in the entirety of the of uh, the world of albums right now. Um, <laughs> so I just like there's something with this that it was so cozy to begin with, but the fact that Taylor Swift wore a similar one, I was very influenced by it. The vibe and everything of folklore is awesome, so I feel very much like that when I wear this tie it with a belt, have a cup of coffee, and it is a cozy look. Okay, I'm gonna to show you, tell you, I'm not gonna tell you. I'm gonna show you two versions of this dress. First, this is the classic, almost like flannel PJs. Pretty sure this is what Taylor Swift was wearing it in the video. Um, it's comfy, it's cute, but I do love to add a belt on stuff, so this is how it looks like before. Um, and then, <laughs> And then this is what it looks like with the belt. Um, yeah, I personally prefer the belt way just because I love a good like baggy thing that like shows you your silhouette still. This is the folklore inspired dress. Oh my god, it's so comfy. Oh my god, this is literally perfect for Christmas time. Those like cozy Christmas nights. Oh, I love it. And it's like a saw. It's a good flannel material. It's not just like a cheap flannel material. So I'm very happy with it. I didn't know. That ASOS has a few different versions of this sort of style of dress. If you're looking for one like that, um, if you're one of my Canada subscribers, I know Roots always does these very well. One of my OG big oversized dresses is from Roots. I actually, I'll try these on for you, but I actually keep meaning to uh, send these bad boys back. So this video was a reminder to myself to send these back. Um, they are a pair of classic leather pants, guys. I have been trying to find a good pair of leather pants, but I mean, I've got a small waist to butt ratio. I'm sure some of you out there are like, I've got the opposite or I have the same and I know your pain. Um, that like fitting things to here that also fit to here are just hard. They do fit me. They just give me camel toe city. So I'm not hundred percent in love with them, but, uh, but they're, they're great. And they could be the perfect pair of leather pants for someone. Just not for me. If you have a little bit of a proportional body, then I'm sure they're for you because they like they look awesome. They are straight leg too, so they're not like the kind that cling to you, which is awesome. I prefer that a lot better. So I'll try them on.
but I am sure that I will end up just sending them back later today. Got to go to the post office anyways. Okay, I feel embarrassed even showing you guys these on. Um, actually, maybe the camera will block it out because they give me some pretty big camel toe. Oh my god. I'm sad because everything else about them is perfect. Like, I'm short and to find a pair of pants that, like, I don't need to hem or that I feel at least comfortable in, like, they're there. I will, I'll move the camera down so you can see it better. So yeah, you can see they, they want to be the perfect pair of pants, you know? They really do. And they're comfy. They're so comfy. They're warm, which is great for the winter. I can see why the whole leather trend just happened to come in during fall and will hopefully go away by the time summer comes. But yeah, guys, perfect pair of pants. Make my butt look good. All of those, just not the front part. The front part gives me that weird fupa area. It's not doing it for me. Um, it's like creating this like, look here, and like the looking here is just not flattering. So I will have to return these, unfortunately. Um, but they were a good purchase. If you see them back up, you might end up buying exactly these pairs. They're so cool. Like, even just this black on black. It's a very classic pant for a very classic outfit. One day I'll find the perfect pair of leather pants and they will be very similar to these. Actually, I did end up buying a few things from Redbubble. The talk of folklore reminded me what I bought. Um, so I will show you the things. I bought three posters and then I can't say it because we haven't done it yet. But I did buy something for my secret Santa from Redbubble. Um, and it's awesome. I just can't show it because our secret Santa isn't until Friday. So uh, maybe I'll post it on my Instagram or something later on so you can see what I got. But I will show you the posters that I got. Guys, I'm really filling my space up right now. I do love Redbubble because it also supports um, artists and not just the website. So yeah, let me, let me flip this. I got this Beatles inspired poster. Um, the lighting is being really weird, but it is this like super bright red. I just love the mix of colors in this. It's very like unconventional colors that you don't really see together. Um, with the red nail polish and then the yellows. This is like an orange. Oh my god, it's just such a cool retro poster that I love. And I've got such a cute little corner going on right here, so I think it kind of like just keeps the arts artsiness going of that corner. And then because this corner here is usually my backdrop for my store, um, I tried to like class it up even more. So I got this. This is a quote from the very first song that I really liked on the Folklore album, so I got that one because it's a sick, sick font, sick lyric, sick everything. My Lincoln poster I got with my partnership with Mappyful a little bit ago. Um, and then, oh, I will link, I will link the, who the artist is um, when I post this video up, but it's just this portrait of Taylor Swift that I really, really liked. Um, I think to the untrained eye, they would be like, oh, it's just another blonde girl, but true fans know this portrait so okay guys I guess that's the end of the video I'm actually waiting for one more shipment from Shein they are obviously very slow because it's Black Friday and Christmas time and they are shipping all the way from China um, so I'm waiting for that to get in and then I will probably do a Shein haul um, just because I've got some really cute pieces from them that I just haven't showed you yet so I might as well show you them all at once um, but yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love doing haul videos. I love buying stuff. I've been thrifting a lot here because thrifting is absolutely phenomenal. So I will totally have another thrifting haul video to you guys pretty soon. Thank you for watching. Like this video if you like this video. Subscribe if you feel like subscribing. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.